This is Jason Nelson. I'm here in uh, Australia at Griffith University. Um, behind me is a, an Australian tree. I'm sure you can really tell it's an Australian tree. Um, I'm just leaving this video because I have my work included in the Leonardo Electronic Almanac. Uh, Jeremy Hyde is doing a lovely curation of a variety of, of different artists, both net-based artists, electronic literature writers, digital poets, and a range of other folks. Um, and he's been kind enough to include my work this week. Uh, the works that are included are basically digital poems. Uh, they're using a variety of different interfaces. For a while now, I've been exploring the notion of how do you actually use interactive interfaces uh, to create new ways of, of reading poetic content. And by poetic content, I mean more than just words. I mean how our images, video, interactivity, animation, sound, text, all these different things, how can they all come together via some type of interactive interface to create a digital poem? Um, and, and I think the three works included here are, are quite indicative of that. Uh, there are a broad range of different interfaces, I think, that really highlight the possibilities uh, for organizing and reading, experiencing, playing with um, interactive text. Uh, one of the works I'm quite happy with is, is called Wittenoom, and, and Wittenoom is actually based on a city or a town, it's actually a ghost town, here in Australia, um, that, well, it, it was a mining town that had mined asbestos. And after mining asbestos for any number of years, and the town filled with people because there was quite a lot of money involved in that at the time, uh, they recognized that the tailings piles from the mining was filled with asbestos. So literally, the area around the town, including the town, in fact a huge area, is cancerous. The air is cancerous. The tailing piles blow around and literally breathing in the area is dangerous. Um, so it's a, it's a fascinating place um, how literally the air is cancerous and, and now obviously it's a ghost town there in Western Australia. Uh, in fact, a lot of the works represented here are about my experience uh, being American of origin, Oklahoma to be specific, and living in Australia, and some of the parallels that I think Oklahoma has with Australia, and how in many ways, you know, they're both places of sort of hope and abandon. They're both places of, of people's misconstrued understandings of what the place means, um, and yet of a strong identity. Um, and so I think all of the works, pretty much, that, that Jeremy has included are, are, are approaching that. Uh, all the works have been flash. I realize that's a, that's a bit of a, not a controversy necessarily, but it's a bit of an issue for me as an artist right now because I think I'm wanting to move away from that technology for obvious reasons that have been in the news, but also because it's good to sort of change these things at times. Um, Anyway, so this is just a short video of me saying hello from Australia. I've, I've included descriptions of all the works. Uh, I do hope you enjoy them. Um, do, do spend time, play and explore, go back, reconfigure them, see if you can find new things. All good digital poems are not meant to be read on the first time. They're meant to be re-explored. Uh, they're meant to be re-examined. They're, they're not meant to be deconstructed. They're meant to be experienced and played with. And as I always say, these are playthings. These are small little digital creatures. Uh, they're quite alive in many ways. And so I hope you enjoy playing with these little built pets. All right. Cheers. Thank you.